Planned Parenthood of Indiana and the ACLU are claiming a big victory tonight in the fight over Medicaid funding. A federal appeals court ruled the state of Indiana cannot shut off funding to the organization. RTV6 reporter Kara Kinney joins us now with the decision and what it means for who's your families. Kara? Well, Erica, this 49 page decision from the United States Court of Appeals upheld a preliminary injunction of a law that would have denied Medicaid funding to Planned Parenthood. For Indiana, this ruling means more than a million dollars in Medicaid funding for more than 9,000 people is safe, at least for now. The ACLU and Planned Parenthood are calling it a big victory. Glee? <laughs> well, we obviously were very happy. They've been fighting a law passed by the legislature in 2011 to defund Medicaid for Planned Parenthood. Tuesday, an appellate court sided with Planned Parenthood and the ACLU, which means more than 9,000 Hoosiers, mostly low income, won't see a lapse in service. It's PAP tests, it's birth control, it's breast exams, it's STD testing and treatment. This is not an abortion case. This is a case about Medicaid services, non-abortion related services. Indiana Right to Life disagrees. Absolutely, it's about abortion, and it's about using taxpayer dollars, your dollars and my dollars, out of our paycheck, go into programs like Medicaid and other government programs and using those to, um, to prop up Indiana's largest abortion business. Indiana Right to Life is pushing for Attorney General Greg Zeller, who represents the state, to appeal. We are certainly concerned with today's ruling, uh, but we're also more emboldened to just keep going. We hope very much that Indiana Attorney General uh, in representing the state of Indiana, will take this all the way to the Supreme Court. In a statement, Zeller says, although the injunction concerning Medicaid funding was not lifted, we note that the Seventh Circuit found the state has the legal authority to decide how federal block grant dollars, which are tax dollars, will be distributed. We will review this opinion more thoroughly with our clients before deciding how best to continue to defend the Indiana law. With regards to the federal block grants, Planned Parenthood said that part of the ruling could impact STD services in 92 count in 22 of 92 counties, and they plan to plan to fight that with the help of the ACLU. Now, this appeals court ruling is not the final say. It now heads back to a trial court for consideration, but Planned Parenthood says in the meantime, they're happy to say Hoosiers on Medicaid won't have any gaps in service. Kara Kenny, RTV6.